Hello, my name is Nora, and I'm going to read Ballerina Swan, written by Allegra Kent, illustrated by Emily Arnold McCauley. From her pond in the city, Sophie loved to watch the dancers in Madame Riddle's dance studio. She saw them bend and stretch and stand on their toes. She saw them spin and turn and leap. One day, Sophie flew to the window ledge for a better look. The children stopped dancing and went to get a better look, too. Back to your bar, my Myrtle commanded. Sophie quickly flew back to the pond. The next time Sophie went to work, she hid in the corner. But Sophie couldn't just watch. She had to dance, too. One day, she gathered her courage and entered the building. Beautiful music drifted through the door. Hoping not to be noticed, she crept inside and joined the dancers in their exercise, a series of plies. But she was indeed noticed, Madame Myrtle shouted, Shoo! In the most frightening way. Sophie, her lovely neck bowed in shame, they withdrew from the room. But the humiliating episode, humiliating. humiliating episode couldn't quell Sophie's rubber dance. One day, Madame Myrtle didn't appear for class. In her place was a young woman who... Looked very much like Madame Myrtle, but was younger and way jollier. The dancers all looked jollier too, and they danced wider and higher than ever before. The music and dancing were irresistible. Sophie decided to try to take class once again. When the new teacher discovered the swan in her studio, Sophie braced herself for what she thought would be coming. But the unexpected happened. The teacher, whose name was Mrs. Willow, ignored that Sophie was feathered, webbed, and winged, and treated Sophie like all her other students. She even gave, so gave Sophie a helpful correction. You are going to have to work on your turnout, she said. When it came for the grand... Should they? To Mrs. Willow said, Fly, my children. The children jumped as high as they could, but only Sophie could really fly. That was very good, Mrs. Willow said to her. After that, Sophie went to class every day. She learned that some things came very easily to her, and other things were difficult. Because of her long, graceful neck, she was very good at epole element. But as she had wings instead of arms, porky brass was a challenge. Because of her webbed feet, Sophie had to work extra hard on her turnout, but she was very good at grand detail. One day, Mrs. Willow said, I am impressed by your commitment and hard work. I would like you to audition for our end-of-the-year performance at Swan Lake. So many emotions flooded through Sophie's avian heart. Avian. avian heart. Joy, hope, and fear. Sophie's heart would break if she was not cast. When the day of the audition came, Madame Myrtle joined Mr. Willow at the studio. A new person entered the room. The geographer, Mr. Choreographer. 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 Mr. Beleski demonstrated each combination, which the children and the swan were required to imitate. Some of the combinations were easy and familiar, but some were very, very hard. At last, the time came for the rules to be announced. All the dancers were eager and fearful. Sophie was most eager and fearful of all. As she scanned the list, she didn't see her name. She read the list more carefully. Still, she didn't see her name. Cast was Princesses. Gail, Linda, Nina, Mary, Trista, Joanna, Joanna Barbara, Susanna, Susanna, Susanna. Friends, Brett, Desmond, Marshall, Gary, Henley, Eric, Bruce, Chip, Swan Maidens, Palm, Cassandra, Jessica, Lindsay, Ruby, Wendy, Marijica, Palace Guest, Emily, Liz, Judith, Franco, Robert, Susie, Bob, Roger, Masters of Ceremonies, Jacuz, Clinton, Dramaturs, Grace, Vaughn, Rothbart, Marcello, Prince, Danielle, Rodette, Tallulah.
Odell for. Sophie walked off in deep shame and disappointment. She bowed her head low so that, so that no one would see her tears. But someone did. It was Madame Myrtle. Why are you crying, she asked. Aren't you happy with your role? Sophie looked up. Her role? Your name is on the back of the list, Madam said. Didn't you see it? Mr. Bowleski created a part just for you. You will be the swan. For weeks, Sophie practiced and practiced and practiced. She attended every rehearsal, even rehearsals which, in which she didn't have a part. And when she wasn't practicing, she listened to her music and pictured her steps in her mind. On the night of the performance, Sophie was ready. I hope you enjoyed the book, Mallory and Swan.